G'day everyone and uh, welcome to this review of some new diecast that has uh, just turned up in the post. Uh, now, this is brand new tooling from Authentic Collectibles uh, of the Ford Mustang Supercar. Uh, these are the very first uh, Mustangs, at least in 43rd scale, that have uh, hit the market. And uh, Authentic have, have uh, modelled them off the supercar shape, not the, uh, the standard road-going Mustang. So they've got the humpback uh, profile, uh, which is good because that's, that, that's how they raced. Now these are all 2019 cars, which is the first releases that uh, Authentic have done of these uh, Mustangs. Uh, there's a whole bunch of others for 2020 and uh, 2021 coming, so they'll be able to amortise the cost of the, the casting over a number of years. Uh, which you would have hoped would bring in uh, some cheaper prices. We'll talk about the price in a minute. Now these are die-cast metal. Um, they have got clear windows and interiors, unlike the classic collectibles uh, with their uh, no interior and their black windows. Now these are the four cars I've got, the Chas Monster Super Cheap, uh, Cameron Waters Monster Energy, Will Davison 23 Red Racing and the Lee Holdsworth Bottle O car. Uh, I don't have the shell one here. I had intended to get that, but uh, when I got the email from Authentic uh, that these were in stock, I went onto the website, bought these, but the shell car was not in stock. So uh, I thought, hmm, that's a bit strange. Put the order through, and uh, a day or two later, another email from Authentic uh, about these models. Shell car was there, but um, my delivery my order had already been processed so uh, missed out on the uh, the shell car which i believe is still in stock but uh i'll get the bathurst one uh, of that anyway when that gets released in the future now all of the models are on a plastic base they came with a clear acrylic uh, top to go over the top of them which is uh, and also enclosed in a uh, a plastic bag which was important because uh, the packaging that they're using now is uh, shredded paper and there was a whole lot of paper dust in the packaging which got everywhere. I had to use the airbrush to uh, blow off the, the bottles once I'd done it. So good for the environment, I guess, recycling paper, but a um, bit of a pain as far as keeping everything uh, clean. Now, uh, all of the, the boxes come in team livery which is a nice touch. They've also got the uh, your model number of whatever the limited edition edition was. So I've got number 11 of 528 of the monster car. Uh, and coincidentally, all of mine are uh, edition number 11. So they must have all been sitting in the same place when the order was packed. So very nice uh, box. Um, if you're into box art, all that sort of stuff, I buy these for the model rather than the, uh, the boxing. So nice touch, but uh, it's not a, a big selling ticket for me personally. Now these cost $85 from Authentic, and that's getting a little bit out of hand as far as I'm concerned for a 43rd scale model. Um, they've improved these over their, I believe they've improved these over their previous versions, uh, but the, the pricing is, uh, yeah, it, it's, you're getting to a point of, uh, of considering not, not getting these. But having said that, there is a counter-argument because uh, even at that price, the Monster Car and the Milwaukee 23 Red, these are, have within days both sold out at the on the Authentic website. So people are still buying them. All right, well, let's have a bit of a closer look at these. All right, so uh, this is the Chas Monster Super Cheap Car. Uh, 2019 season. Uh, all of these are modelled on a particular event as identified by the event sticker on the door. So this is a Perth Super Sprint round. It's painted black and red obviously, but that's all, all paint as opposed to decal material. The yellow and the other decoration is decal material. Paint on these is very, very good. You see on the bonnet there, nice smooth shine. Uh, when you get at certain angles the light on the decal there, the clear film has got a texture to it uh, as, as opposed to being completely smooth, but uh, that's only noticeable at certain angles. Uh, typically everything is, is looking really good as far as the decoration is concerned. Window fit on these is really good as well. Even the side windows, which, uh, which are a separate add-on piece to each side, they fit in their recess quite well by the look of things. And the side windows have got cutouts here, 
uh, for the ventilation and also the emergency pull handle for the rescue crews if need be. They've even got the spike and then I think it was an oil top up as well or something in there. All being modelled in, windscreen wiper. There's uh, the little markings in orange there for the, uh, the tear offs on the windscreen. Don't know if that's going to pick it up. There's mirror material in the side mirrors. Comms on the uh, an aerial on the on the roof of the car. Fine bonnet pin pins being represented by uh, little metallic type decals, and that's also true on the um, on the boot there. If we can get that in focus. Huge rear wing on these cars, which is just how is amalgamated. Really big, long overhang. There is a rain light under there as well. And the distinctive Mustang taillights. Side skirts look like they're fitting okay. That's been a problem on some of the Commodore supercars that a number of the manufacturers have made. The side skirts have been really poorly fit, but uh, on these Mustangs, brand new tooling, as I said, that looks like they've got a uh, done a much better job of um, of getting all of that to fit. Now the rims rim detail is good. Um, it's been reproduced in uh, on the super cheap car. It's a sort of a frosted silver colour. Uh, it could be a little bit more shiny, I, I believe. In, in real life, these are a machined alloy. Um, so at least Authentic have not gone and chromed these because chrome would be wrong. Um, so it looks good, but it could be a little bit better. They've also um, put some blue anodizing on the wheel nut there and the red central the little push pin that the air gun goes onto. There's brake caliper and disc detail in behind the wheel there as well. And uh, the Dunlop markings on the sidewalls. So some really nice detail in there. On the left side skirt, the exhaust is uh, moulded in as part of the side skirt, it looks like. Just done in black. Uh, could probably put some metallic colour on that with a, a paintbrush. Now I know some collectors don't even open up the boxes to pull the model out of, never mind <laughs> go painting them and changing the model, but uh, they like to keep them in an absolutely mint condition, but I might put a bit of metallic on there, and, and then these are my models, I can do what I want with the ones in my own collection, so... But that they're really nice looking models. Now the only sort of major downside that I would criticize on these is check out how far the wheels are in tucked in under really narrow track on both sides. The wheels don't really, the width of the track is not wide enough to fill out the, uh, the mud guards properly. So they should be a bit wider and there should be, there might be a fraction of negative camber on there. They're independent axles, it's not a solid axle going through like they do on the classic collectibles, but there's no real noticeable camber, so uh, I don't know whether we'll be able to change that. But yeah, the wheels could stick out a bit further, wider, and with a little bit more negative camber on them would certainly improve these. Let's see underneath, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take one of these off the base and have a look at it shortly. Yeah. Anyway, that's the super cheap car from 2019. Really nicely done. Cameron Waters Monster Energy. It's in the, uh, the satin black with the gloss monster logos. Again from the Perth Super Sprint by the look of it. Very menacing car on the racetrack. This one in the all black livery and the the black rims looks very tough, in my opinion. Fuel filler on the right-hand side for the uh, Wanneroo, Barbagello, whatever you want to call it, circuit over there in Perth. Could probably come down a little bit on the ride height on these. Uh, but um, sitting on the white base, it's, they're looking fine. Then got the 23 red Milwaukee sponsored car Will Davison this is uh, what's it on the door there truck assist which was at the Winton round can't recall again just black on the exhaust I think we might put some metallic on there wheels are looking really nice this is uh, painted in black 
with some white painting on the front and red painting on the rear uh, spraying um, and decal for the for the decoration fuel filler decal on the left hand side which would be consistent with Winton yep so this is probably from the Winton round now with this one I don't know whether this is on all of the uh, Davison cars or it's just that this particular base that mine's on went through backwards on the printing uh, area at the factory because it's got the description of being the 2019 season car for Will Davison it's on the opposite side of the plinth it should be over here which is where all the others are so uh, a little bit of a difference on there so this is the 2019 car it was quite competitive at various times through the season and the 2020 car, which only did a few rounds, is also planned, which I'd like to get because I like delivery on that one. And then the final of this delivery is the Lee Holdsworth Bottolo car. Now with this one, all of the green on this, by the look of it, is decal material. like the, It's wrapped, I guess, like the real car. Uh, it's been painted in white and some mask sprays in black at the front and the rear. To complete the livery, but uh, yeah, all of the green is tackle material. Now the rims there, they don't have the blue wilnut colour. It's just the silver frosting of the uh, the rim material. So don't know whether again whether that's just this example or whether all the Holdsworth cars are like that. Again, I'll be able to fix it up with a paintbrush, but that's a fiddly job for that. Now, um, it's obvious on this one, less so on the other models, but um, see here at the front, we get that up to the camera, the white there. Now, this car, the front bar is black and green, okay? And at that angle, it looks fine. But as soon as we get to the side and from the rear, uh, due to the thickness of the casting, and this is a bit unavoidable, due to the thickness of the casting and the body was painted white, uh, that white comes through and sort of, in my opinion, really detracts from the model. So sometimes I blacken that out or use the body colour so that it's not as obvious. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one just yet. Make that decision at some stage in the future. Um, it would be a bit less obvious if the wheel came out a little further. But uh, yeah, that that's a... a common issue when the body of the model has been painted in a light colour but the decoration is a darker or, or alternative colour. This is uh, another one from the Perth Super Sprint according to the sticker on the side there. Another really nice example of the Ford Mustang Supercar. All right, well, um, let's take this off the plinth and have a look at what's underneath. Okay, so I've taken the uh, the bottle o car off the plinth. There's just two screws that uh, release it from the, the base. Uh, there's this spacer here, which just goes into a couple of holes to uh, position the model uh, correctly. Uh, and easy, easy to take off, easy to put back on. So let's have a look at what we've got under here. And it's just very basic detail, very much like what the previous releases of these 43rd scales are. Fairly rudimentary uh, detail in the in the floor pan and some suspension representation. And we've got a, um, exhausts uh, as a separate piece glued under there. Now, if you're doing code 3s on these, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be a bit of a pain in, in the backside to pull these apart because the mounting screws that hold the body and the base plate, etc. together will probably be under this front uh, splitter panel and underneath the fuel tank, and they can often be a real pain to, uh, to get off. Uh, now, the wheels are on separate axles, so that indicates... See, that, that's... Uh, get that back in focus that's moving so it's maybe possible to uh, jam something in there to encourage some uh, negative camber a bit more negative camber on these yeah. but anyway that's that's what's under authentics 43rd scale ford mustang supercar brand new tooling as i said these are the 2019 versions uh, versions from other years are in the pipeline and um, they've really picked the game up 
in my opinion. Um, I re recall their very first release of a 43rd scale model was the 2017 Bathurst winner. And my, well, the one I received anyway was, was terrible. It had big quality control issues. There was flash in the wheel rims. Uh, in the gaps there were all filled in. The, uh, the decals were misaligned. It was a real disaster. But uh, it was the only one I could get my hands on. So uh, it's in the cabinet. It's not so noticeable in the cabinet, uh, the errors. But it's, they're there. Whereas with these, uh, these are really good models. And if I was going to give them a rating out of 10, I reckon I'd go 8 and a, yeah, eight and a half. Eight and a half out of, out of 10. All right. They could be improved by a little bit of a wider track and getting rid of some of the little things like the, uh, the background paint. But overall, very, very good. Okay. So, if you like the review, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down it. And uh, if you want to see further reviews or any of the kit building that I do and report on on the channel, uh, you might as well subscribe and uh, click the bell button to get notifications for when the next video drops. All right, until then, cheers.